My name is Enzo Manjaro. Um, I play the part Pius, Pius in Kim, in the film Dream Walker. Neville, Neville Osai. I'm the producer director for Dream Walker. Well, I, I, before I got the script, I had been synthesized about this domestic abuse thing, and um, and I, I don't think it's I don't think it's something we talk about as much as we should. You know what I mean? So. The story of Richard, my character, is, um, is, is a story that, that brings to open all of the issues in the underbelly of domestic abuse that may not be obvious to outsiders, but I mean, it's, it's, it's quite very valid when you look at it. Um, Dreamwalker was born out of the desire, or should I say the vision, to carve out a new niche in the Christian filmmaking industry. Um, that has suffered a little bit in Nigerian filmmaking and uh, I'm someone who is very passionate about Christian movies and I said to myself how can we do Christian movie differently where it is generally accepted and where people can be able to relate with it with you know their particular challenges and all that so uh, with that in mind um, when the opportunity came to do Dreamwalker I, I latched onto it because um, Although it was not originally my story, um, we went through quite a few scripts during the period during the period of um, production and pre-production itself. Um, the first script we saw, which when, when I spoke with the director, uh, he felt he needed. He was I, I I it was okay. I mean I would say that sometimes I feel it's more of a case is what you do with the scripts. You know, yes, you need a very good script, you need a good story and good dialogue and all that stuff. But sometimes it's what you do with that script that actually makes a whole difference. And um, he wanted a perfect script. And we worked on it quite a few times until we got it to the point where he was happy to actually do uh, the, 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 the work with the script that we actually had at that time. And I, I think it was great. It's a different kind of story. Um, it was a spiritual husband they had to go through. Uh, my character was uh, was uh, in, in the movie was a was a husband. You know, he used to be rich. You know, he used to be. He used to be well to do and um, all of a sudden things crashed. One bad deal and everything just turned upside down and um, Richard finds himself look, looking around for a solution he just couldn't get it up and he tried so many things it didn't work and of course um, in that his moment of vulnerability he succumbs to the temptation of thinking that someone else was his problem and of course uh, the, the only other person he could blame was his wife Tyra played by Insert and um, it eventually led to tragic circumstances. Um, it, 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 wasn't a, it wasn't a character that um, was, was happy. <laughs> the story originally came from Pastor uh, Chris Ujibwani. Pastor Chris Ujibwani is the uh, senior pastor for Congolan Singles and Married Ministry. Um, so when the, that opportunity came, I said to myself, how can we do the story differently other than what we're used to in Hollywood? And I had the opportunity to, you know, bring a couple of very good actors and we, we, we wanted to really do something that will stand the test of time and that will look different from um, the way we make films um, in Hollywood. I think we're beginning to get a bit of truth, be able to actually totally tell our story without being, um, what, what would I say now, without being chaotic, you know. Um, the way it happens in life is not the way it happens in film. You have to let people understand all the angles of your story and I think that that's, the, that's one of the biggest things that happened to Nollywood in the last, say, three or four years. We're beginning to see a lot of emphasis on directional photography, which is, to me, a key element in creating the experiences for your audience to appreciate the story you're trying to tell. The stories will not change because we as a people, we're not changing. It's our story. We're Africans, we're Nigerians, the circumstances are the same. Where we're coming from and where we're going will be the same, you know, at the end of the day. In fact, our interpretations and perceptions of our issues are almost even the same. At the end of the day, what would change and what I see that is changing in Hollywood is how the story is told, how it's written, 
for TV, screenplays, and how it plays out on set, how the director and the DPs are able to, you know, bend the angles so that the audiences worldwide can understand our stories. And I think that that is one of the major, major breakthroughs in Nollywood, and it's quite great. And I believe that it will get better and better and better. It was quite a task uh, because to search out the people that will really bring out the real character of some of uh, you know the roles in Dreamwalker was a task for me and I, I said to myself how can we do this differently you know and uh, I had to go searching um, I had to go to many production other production sets to look at their cast and crew to see who is doing what and how good they are in what they are doing and um, I feel very fortunate for these guys to agree to work with me because I've not worked in a long time but it's about the director um... He's easy. He's quite easy. And he made it clear from the beginning. It was like, look, I'm, I just want to, you know, get a hang of this thing. I want to, you know, understand it. I want to see how it works. And I, and I believe that's, that's humility. And, and that sort of makes you come to the set with ideas for him. Be like, oh, God, this is what I think. You'll say, okay, no problem. And all that. He's, um, he's, <laughs> and he's, he's very diplomatic. He's, <laughs> <laughs> He's a politician <laughs> on set. <laughs> you know, he just sort of like bones, you know, when he sees something the trouble in he just bones and he just faces where there's no trouble and says, Oh now <laughs> I like it. He has people's skills and, and that's great. That's great. And we've been friends ever since. He's a, he's a good guy. I can't wait to see his next film. Because when this project was over, it was like turning good job, good job, we're, we're learning, we'll grow and all of that. I, I want to see it. I want to see that next level with um, Neville. Um, Nollywood is growing, no doubt about that. We are at a point where I think people are beginning to notice and beginning to take us seriously. Before we were, we're, it was more of a joke where we just shell out stuff. You know, the story was all the same, telling the same story over and over again. The, the script didn't have that much depth. But now you, you're coming up with great directors um, who are actually making a difference now, who are actually making films for the international market. You know, so it's growing. And like I said, how fast it's, it will be determined by the people, the, the, the number of people coming into the industry who are, getting, who are being more serious, who, who are hoping will be more serious. Um, if it's just the same old num, um, the, the, the um, Nevilles, the Obis, the Kunle Afolayos, the um, um, to Nikilani, if we don't expand, we don't we don't get more of those people coming in. It will just almost be static because there are only so many films this people, this people can make in a year, you know. But if we get more people coming and more people making these kind of great films, at a point the people who are not serious about it, who are making films that don't work, will get sidelined. And that's what we need to do. We need to actually get more film, more serious filmmakers making more films. Oh!